Yeah, that is not PC. You passed it through. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Uh, that is not PC. It's been a long time, friend. You know, years now. You know, I want to congratulate him and everybody that's, you know, just passed through round one. You know, I just want to congratulate everybody that's been in the tournament because every single video has been really, really well, you know, written. Every single commentary has been really, really well, you know, spoken. And I just want to say that, you know, bad luck if you lost, but good luck, you know, for the round two that the guys who passed it through. I hope I see some good commentaries. What's going on guys, it's IC Bullet bringing some more Modern Warfare gameplay commentary. Now before I get started, I want to thank Smart Commentaries for hosting this tournament. It's great what he's trying to do, it's awesome, that's all I can say. I also want to thank you awesome viewers out there that voted for me in the past video. You know, it's great, I love you guys, you're the reason I'm here. I also want to thank the judges, you know, for passing me under the round two. I also want to, you know, congratulate I am Babies for being in the tournament, you know. Too bad you didn't make it to the second round, bro. You know, you were a great commentator. You put out a great video. I really like him. I've been talking to him. You guys should go sub to him. He's a great, great dude. All right, now let's get started with the blind moment of the video or the day or whatever you guys want to call it. Before, if you remember from my last video in the first round, I basically mentioned what it was. It's basically me playing, you know, showing you guys how I play Call of Duty being a legally blind gamer. Now, this week, for uniqueness, I'm going to add, add some facts and give you some life advice on it. All right, let's get started with fact number one. It is somewhere in the United States, someone goes blind every five seconds oh my god just think about think about how many people that is you know a child a little child goes blind every single minute there are so many minutes in one single day that is a huge and crazy crazy amount you know 80% of all blindness is preventable or curable now that is huge it is very very important to take care of yourself you know, not only physically but emotionally and you just you know it's it's good to take care of yourself taking a shower every day and you know, just being a clean person is huge in this world not only to your eyes but your ears your body you know and to other people people won't, don't want to smell people that are really bad you know it'll improve your social skills it's it builds self-confidence when you're clean and neat it's huge guys I want to say that you know being legally blind or just not having part of your eyesight is huge it's a huge disability you know you don't want that so please take care of yourself being a legally blind person like I was born with being being legally blind I didn't you know acquire it throughout my age I was born you know I acquired it at birth so being legally, legally blind is just a huge disadvantage in your life and you know make sure you take care of every single part of your body no matter what part it is you know what I'm talking about what part it is just take care of it as dudes you gotta take care of it alright so you know just all I'm saying is take care of yourself and you'll be all good for life now let's get into the actual commentary now my real topic today is YouTube what has really happened to YouTube over the years now let's take a little little itty bitty itty bitty YouTube lesson uh, <laughs> history lesson and YouTube let's go so basically what happened is YouTube started off it became this it was a small website it started off very well you know where friends could upload videos and you know show other friends it was funny stuff it was you know informative stuff and it was great it was great it was great now then gaming came along everybody started posting gaming videos you know people who watched gaming videos to see how to get better at Call of Duty especially you know other games you know how to get better how to get better how to get better that's how it started off then then what happened is money came in okay money came in if you had a certain number of views and a certain number of subscribers I know I'm talking a little fast but I'm sorry it's a four minute video give me a break but you know it, money came in you know amount of subscribers amount of views per day money came in everybody went berserk like oh my god YouTube money yeah yeah money I can hobby money hobby money yeah yeah but yeah that's what ended up happening and you know along the road people just lost the idea of, you know there's there's money whores now you know I'm not calling out anyone but there's obviously some money whores on YouTube you know and I don't know if money ruined YouTube but there's a lot more money whores now there's a lot more other people that just do YouTube for money there are people out there that you do YouTube with a passion I love those kind of people all right commentators in this tour in this tournament they're doing with a passion they're not getting paid after actually not getting paid I hate the fact nowadays that every YouTube channel is being started on the fact that they want to be a partner they want to get paid they want to get paid that YouTube money you know I personally I started off my YouTube channel because I was going through this depression period it was that was that was, <laughs> that's what my mind was thinking when I was when I started YouTube you know I thought it would get my mind off stuff you know has it worked yes it has worked a little I mean I'm off the depression depression stage now I'm working on you know getting more subscribers you know I love YouTube that's YouTube is really my passion I upload even though I don't get paid even if I was given a choice to you know get money right now I don't think I would do it personally if I ever earn money I think it would I would put it all 
towards my YouTube channel. I know my subscribers are like, play this game, play that game. I've recently gotten into Minecraft, you know. Just comment below if you want to see Minecraft in the next round. If I make you the next round, alright guys? Now, I really want to thank you. I really will, you, you know, hope you vote for me. But whoever my competitor is, which I don't know yet, good luck, bro. You know, I, I hope you'll be great. I know you'll be great because every competitor in this tournament is great. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Smart Card Commentaries. You know, peace out, people. What is up, everybody? My name is Kile. Today, I'm making this video for Smart Card Commentaries Commentator Challenge. It's going to be a little free for all on Overwatch with the MSR Golden. I did have to cut the commentary or the gameplay, not the commentary, just a little bit short because it did not fit the four minute time frame that we were given. So, I do end up winning the match if anybody was interested. But let's move on. So, today I've got a little story for you, and it features a topic that we uh, have to deal with every day here in California, which is language barriers. Now, I don't know where you guys are located, but here in California, we are very, very culturally diverse. Every day you'll see new cultures, you'll come uh, in contact with new dialects or accents, um, which I think is great because we're all human beings. We should all be allowed to live wherever we please. And, uh, that right has been taken away from some people, but uh, here in the U.S., it's it's pretty cool to have you know a bunch of people just come together and live as one. So every day you'll you know you'll see new people, and sometimes it's kind of cool to get to interact with the people, but then sometimes you gotta learn just to smile and nod because let's be honest, you have no fucking idea what they're saying. <laughs> but so I've got this little funny story um, that happened to my friend's dad back uh, I don't even know how what did he say it was like 25 years ago or something like that. Um, he speaks Spanish fluently, um, and so he was getting his house concrete redone. Now the two workers that worked on the house happened to be Hispanic, and of course they spoke Spanish, but yeah, he did not tell the workers that he spoke uh, fluent Spanish, so he was kind of, you know, it was, it was a really smart thing to do, I'm not going to lie. So one day they were getting ready to do what they were going to do for the day, and he comes up to the uh, to the contractor who is American and you know, he pretends to be this gringo who can't speak Spanish. He says, can you tell your guys, be very careful if you're working close to the wall in the garage door. We don't want any holes in the garage, in the stucco or whatever it was, um, on the side of the garage. And uh, so he told the guys that, he comes back the next day and wouldn't you know it, there's a hole in the garage. And he goes, what the hell is this? So before he calls the contractor to ask what what the deal is he goes up to the two guys he confronts them and he says what is this hole in the wall the guys kind of act like they don't speak english and they look at each other and they talk a little bit and they just you know they shrug their shoulders like we don't know so he says whatever you know he knew exactly what they were saying that they didn't uh, that, that that they did it um but he decides to contact the contractor he says we have a problem and i need you to come down there so he gets the two workers the contractor who is uh American and he's sitting here and he goes he goes tell ask your guys what this hole uh, in the wall is so he contract turns around and he starts talking in Spanish he's like what's what's the deal why is this hole in the wall and the two guys look at each other and they flat out lie and he the contractor turns around looks at my friend's dad and says uh, I'm sorry sir they don't know that I guess that was there and and my friend's dad goes uh, really because this guy just said that it slipped and it put a hole in the wall and at that point all three of their jaws just dropped and they were like oh shit and they're like uh i'm so sorry sir um you know we're gonna give you a 15 percent discount we're gonna give you this for free this for free this for free and i guess it was just it was just so funny and uh from that point on the two workers were just dead quiet and they they did not say a thing so that's my story so the next time somebody tells you that you know taking spanish in high school isn't important it can help you out in the long run so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope to be talking to you soon. I hope I come back for the next round. That'd be pretty sweet. Give a like for uh, Constantine's hard work on this video and all that he's been doing for this challenge. So uh, that's going to conclude this commentary. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later.